I didn't, I didn't plan on that. Um, you know, I, there's some good and some bad. Uh, you know, we got a ways to go, but you see some guys getting getting better. You know, we didn't have our tight ends today, so uh, uh, you know, Lamoff got nicked up a little bit in practice, so. You know, we weren't able to utilize him in, in some short yarding situations and, and both our tight ends, so a uh, little bit different game plan, but that's what spring football's for. You know, we, we, we want to see some guys make some plays. Uh, you know, uh, obviously Swope can, is, I was happy to see him hit that sideline take off. And, uh, but, you know, we, we put some guys in some positions and it's about consistency. And, and uh, some guys made some plays a week ago, didn't make plays tonight. And there's some other guys here, and that, that's what practice is for, and that's why we come out and, and do this kind of stuff, so that uh, it, it can be more game-like. Could you talk about the idea of Friday Night Lights and the turnout and just the excitement? How pleased were you with everything? Yeah, I was pleased. You know, it, we, we probably heard us a little bit from it raining today. People didn't know what was going to happen. And then it got to be about 60 degrees. So, uh, you know, I think it's something that we're going to continue. I think uh, from a recruiting standpoint, it's, uh, you know, we, we, we had some guys show up here that uh, uh, some pretty high profile recruits that, that obviously we're, we're really interested in. And, and from a uh, evaluation standpoint, you know, and, and to get out here, uh, it's just a different setting. And, and uh, I like the whole, the whole, uh, the whole atmosphere. There's a lot of positives for it, you know, except for it's 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. And, but it's Friday night, so we'll, we'll be all right. Your thoughts on the quarterbacks? You know, it, like I said, I'm, I'm one of those. It's never as good as it seems. It's never as bad as it seems. I'll, I'll watch the video. You know, there were some interceptions that, quite frankly, were were balls that should have been caught. And then we had, you know, a questionable call and a, a pass interference down there. Uh, and, and, you know, th those are all kinds of things that, that you know, we work through. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'll have to watch the video. Every guy had his moments, you know, but uh, we're still, you can still tell we're, we're uh, you know, we're, we're still learning what we're doing. But uh, I think that as they start to grasp everything in the offense, uh, you know, I see certain things, that, you know, checking plays, getting some things. And, and without the tight ends today, you know, we, we, we really, you know, there, was, there wasn't a whole lot of variety in the offense, but uh, I thought I thought they handled it. It was obvious to me the tempo today was much better. By the, and the quarterbacks and the centers have a lot to do with that and getting lined up. So, you know, we're making strides there. What did you think of the uh, pressure in the front seven? Yeah, I thought, you know, early in there they were a little bit vanilla. And then uh, obviously Coach Snyder got uh, wasn't very happy with that. And they started uh, uh, zinging and zigging and zagging. And, Guys coming around the corner, and I, you know that's that's where we are. You know we're a four-three defense, but uh, you know I think that we've shown that we can be multiple, uh, and particularly in the front. And we're going to have to be, uh, you know, until we get some depth. And I think that's that's the key to what we're going to do. You know we, we've got to be able to be sound. I think we've been very very sound up front as far as gaps, but you know we're, we're going to have to show some different looks and, and be able to execute them. And, and uh, you know all those all those looks are good for our offense too. Seems like Mike Evans is starting to really come along. Well, yeah, you know he's he's been kind of up and down. You know, it's it, you know, uh, Nate had a good week last week. Yeah. You know, Mike was okay last week. This this week he was ready to go. And and so you know as guys go move on, you know that's that's what these types of situations are about. When coaches are off the field and got to think on your own. You get a little bit tired. Pressure's on you. Got to make plays. You know we've got to continue to put our guys in those situations so we can evaluate them and. And hopefully, you know, uh, they get get comfortable in those situations and know that, you know, we're expecting you to make that play. It's not something out of the ordinary, and you're not pressing to do it. It's, it's what you're supposed to do. Thank you, uh, Brandon Williams. Uh, it speaks for itself, right? <laughs> oh, man. It's, uh, as advertised, we all know what he can do. So, you know, uh, the, the good thing about Brandon is he's got three years of eligibility, no matter what happens. So uh, we understand that. You know, he, he got a little bit more run tonight because obviously Will was out uh, from last week. Uh, Will will be back in practice next week. You know, see Mike and Will out. You know, if there's a question about why we're practicing, we're, we're down. We're, we're down to Ben and and and, 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 and Brandon. But uh, you know, they call him Slim, and, and uh, 
He's 190 pounds, and you know, I hate to see him when he gets to be about 205. He'll be something else. So well, I'll just put it this way: I'm glad he's on our team. What do you think of the special teams? Uh, we got a lot more of that in today. Well, we, no, not really. We did about the same. We just got a kickoff return, and, and uh, um, you know, obviously, we just want to get a look at some guys dropping and blocking. Uh, and, and kind of get, get things started off with some guys returning the ball. But uh, really, we, we punted about the same as we did a week ago, showed some different looks. Uh, the wind was really playing with the drops and things like that. And then uh, uh, we had kicked about the same amount of field goals. You know, I think we've missed one in two weeks. So, you know, from that standpoint, I think uh, our field goal kicking is, is and, and extra point <laughs> execution has been good. Uh, punting was not nearly as consistent as last week, and that's what we talk about. You know, we'll talk about that that today. That's 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 what we talked about two weeks ago. Um, you know, we can't be good one week and 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 be just average. One, we we got to know what we can get out. Of here. And uh, if you can punt it 38 yards for the hang time, let's do that. Let's not have a 20 yarder and a 70 yarder. You know, and it's the same way with with guys coming out here to play. Let's catch the ball. Let's not make a one-handed catch and then drop one that hits you right in the hand. So we got to be more consistent as a football team, and and, and uh, that's across the board. But uh, I think guys, you know, in situations like this, you put a minute and and, and, and it's easy to see uh, what we're trying to do, and, and it's easier to coach off this type of video. All right, guys. Thanks, guys.